Hello everyone, this is Kratos, and I want to do a quick video about giving some tips for dueling. So now, first of all, this is Tribes, and it's Capture the Flag. So, before people start saying, Okay, Kratos, this is not about killing, this is about capturing the flag. That is true, but killing people sure helps you uh, get the flag and complete your objectives. Anyway, so dueling is basically when you're fighting people at slow speeds, uh, usually one-on-one. -on -one, but basically, if you take some of these tips into uh, account in your fights, hopefully you will get a lot more kills and survive longer. So first of all, everyone has jetpacks. Everyone is going up and down. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to make an assumption here that you have a, a disc launcher or some sort of projectile, like grenade launcher, and uh, you're fighting someone else who also has a projectile. Okay, so given that basic assumption, here are some tips. When they are coming down from the air, you want to be going up. Why? Because when they land, you get a nice clean shot. So you can hit them preferably very easily. Because if they're on the ground, you can easily uh, nail them right as they land. Because even if you slightly miss, because let's, 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 let's just be honest here, none of us are perfect shots, you'll probably miss a little bit. So when you do, it'll get some splash damage on them, it'll uh, hurt them. And that's the goal, to hurt. Now, second tip is, when you, on the other hand, are coming down, Oh crap, oh here comes a duel. Okay, alright, this is interesting. I did not intend for this, and I am lagging. I actually already have the video recorded of dueling, and this is... Here we go, intro to dueling. So, you see, when he's going down... Oh crap, that's a grenade. <laughs> ah, that was, that was pretty good. Alright. Anyway, uh, before I, as a noob, walked right into that grenade, you saw that I was... Right when he was coming down, I was going up in the air, and I got a good shot on him. Anyway, this... What a jerk. I'm gonna, okay, you know what? I'm gonna give us a little entertainment here. I'm gonna have to go back here and finish this guy. Second tip is, uh, oh, snipe turrets before they snipe you. Alright. Second tip is, okay, side tip. If you're fighting people with machi some machine guns, it doesn't matter when you're in the air, because they're not gonna be able to hit you very hard. Okay, anticipate, anticipate, anticipate. Ah. Oh. Alright. Grenade to finish. That's my third tip. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, there we go. Perfect example of all three. Okay, so what I was saying earlier, man, that was a good intro. Okay, so ah, oh, another jerk. Gonna harass me, I'm sure. Alright, so first tip is when they're coming down from the air, you wanna be going up to shoot them. Second tip is when you're coming down and they're going up in the air, assuming they have a projectile, again, some machine gun, not so important. I'll explain why. But when you're going up in the air, uh, sorry, when you're going down and they're coming up, what you want to do is you want to you want to land on the downward facing slope away from them. So what do I mean by that? Let's say my enemy is over here somewhere. Let's just say he's over here. Okay, while I'm coming down, I want to be on the downward facing slope away from him. Here's why. Because when he lands, uh, when he if he's coming down like this, to try to nick me like that, it is so hard to pinpoint something on that kind of slope. So, in tribes, you don't really have trees or rocks for cover. Okay, sometimes, sometimes you do. There's a tree. I feel like such a tool. Anyway, there's some trees and rock. Oh, there's both right here. Okay, so they have that kind of cover, but in tribes, really, the, the type of tool you want to, the type of terrain for cover you want to use is something like, you know, you're going to be on a downward slope. It makes it very difficult to hit someone. Third tip, save your ammo. Don't waste your shots in general. Uh, if someone's in the air and you're in the air too, unless you're a pro and you can mid-air them, don't waste your ammo. And if you're a pro and you can mid-air them, you're probably not going to be watching this video anyway. This video is intended for people who just are new to tribes they want to get some tips for uh, for dueling. Uh, my last tip is for um, grenades. I love impact grenades. What about impact grenades, I mean impact nitrons, they explode on impact. Uh, juggernaut disc grenades, they explode on impact. I love those because they're great finishing uh finishing tools. As you saw in that, that intro duel, which was not planned at all, but worked out pretty well, uh, I shot him and then threw a grenade right after. That cooldown is extremely quick. Whereas you shoot a grenade, I shoot a disc, you wait, you wait, you wait, you shoot a disc, wait, 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 wait. It feels like forever in a day. And you'll see what I'm saying. When you shoot and throw a grenade, it's very quick. Uh, great finisher. Anyway, so those are some of my tips. Oh, submachine guns. So about submachine guns, what I was saying was, it doesn't really matter when you're on the ground, because... He doesn't have a disc, so he's not going to rely on that ground area effect splash to hit you. Only thing you really care about is A, juking the guy and making it hard for him to lead you by just kind of going back and forth, however you see fit. And, uh, of course, rocks and trees help for cover against submachine guns. And, uh, more importantly, 
when you are trying to uh, sh- sh- lost my train of thought. Um, when you the thing that you do care about against submachine guns is uh, when they're coming down, you want to be going up. That is very key because now you get the, uh, the shot. But for defensive wise, it doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't matter when you're in the ground or not. Just try to juke them. Use your energy for that kind of stuff. Okay. Now. I already have some pre-recorded videos. I already did an intro video earlier, but the sound did not record, so I'm a sad panda and I had to re-record this. Um, I'm not proud of what I did. I had to basically go to the spawn points and try to harass people into duels because, I mean, man, when you try to record a video for something, it never happens the way you want it to. And it's so difficult to try to get people to fight you one-on-one, so I had to go camp spawns and poke at them and pull them off to the side and make them chase me. Anyway, I'm that douchebag in the pub doing douchebaggery things. Alright, let's watch some videos on uh, uh, some of the uh, other fights that I had for dueling. I will comment on them. Watch out for those tips that I was mentioning earlier. Alright, so here I take down the turret to draw someone's attention. Duel started. I am up in the air. I have a great advantage because I'm shooting down on him. I get it's a lot. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to get clean shots, although I'm missing every shot. There we go. One hit. And now just wait for it, be patient. Almost got him. Just wait for it, be patient for him to get on the ground, and then finished. So here I'm going back to their base, to their spawn. They're trying to harass people with a shotgun. Because I don't want to do a lot of damage, I just want to get their attention. But anyway, if you listen, you can hear someone coming. So there's someone's coming, I know they're coming, so I get ready to start fighting. They're up in the air, I'm still saving my ammo, wait for them to come down, wait for them to come down. And I still can't get a clean shot. He got a clean shot on me, because he had, I was not on downward facing slope. It was hard to dodge him. See, downward facing slope, it's hard to get a hit. And right now, I know he still has no good shot, so I can save my energy. Now he's coming at me, so I have to start moving. Got a shot. Waited for him to hit the ground, and then I got it. Got, got him again. Grenade finisher. Boom. Grenades, these impact enters don't do a lot of damage, but they are great for finishing. Now, for this guy, um, there's a lot of interesting... Notice a lot of the downward-facing slope dodging that would both of us do. It works both sides, so that was not it. This is it. See, he had a hard time hitting me, now he switched sides, I had a hard time hitting him. Switch sides again, they're having a hard time hitting each other. And now we do a little dance in the air, we get a couple shots off, and then he's uh, gonna die. I know it. I'm gonna call predict the future. But I did not predict that terrible impact that I shot. And then, boom. Done. Here I see somebody harassing a turret, so it's easy to start a duel. Notice he's on a downward slope, and I miss so easily. Just simply because he's on a downward slope. So now I'm gonna start chasing him and try to finish him off. Uh, whew, close one. Anyway, so one shot. I like to do two discs and a grenade. So one, two, three, combo. Boom. Done. So here's a fight where I'm fighting someone with a submachine gun. So, I don't care about where I am relative to him, other than when he's going down, I want to be going up so I get a clean shot. So he goes for a melee, misses of course, because who can hit a pro, right? I'm just kidding, I'm not a pro dude. Anyway, he's going down, get the shot, and then try to follow up again with another shot, done. Alright, so here I'm fighting a heavy with a heavy spin fuser, of course, a brute. And this guy's pretty good, he's got a really good aim, but uh, what I want you guys to notice is how I don't land on a downward facing slope away from him. In fact, I land on a slope facing him, which is a very clean, easy shot, good shot. You gotta compliment your enemies. Alright, so in this duel, things get a little bit hectic because there's people around. Uh, it's team deathmatch after all. But that's not important. What I want you guys to pay attention to is when I connect my shots and when I don't. Uh, that shot connected with myself because shooting yourself is the key to victory. Uh, it's very deep. If you don't understand it, it's okay. Maybe one day you will. Anyway, notice where I am relative to where he is when I do hit him. It's all about positioning. And I'm not hitting him right now because I just plain suck. Those are actually decent uh, positions. And that was just a lucky shot, a hard position. But right here, notice that I've got really good position on him. I got clean shots. He's on the slope facing me. It's like shooting against a wall. Piece of cake. One thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the jetpack uh, cloud stream behind them. Notice right here, when this, this guy is jetting up in the air, you can see the little jet stream behind him, right there. And then he stops and he comes back down. It's very important to pay attention to that because that'll help you determine when they're coming down and when they're going up. Like just now he was going up and I, I didn't do as much damage with my grenade. Anyway, this guy knows he's fighting Kratos, so there's no running from this, but he tries to run anyway. Ka-ching! Now this is a little bit of a high-speed duel, so we're kind of chasing each other. Well, I'm, I'm chasing him, really. But uh, pay attention to 
leading, and this is kind of a thing more for chasing than dueling, but when you're leading, you're still looking for those easy shots when they're going to be on a, a certain type of slope when they're facing you. And this fight is a 3 on 1, but that's not important. What I want you to pay attention to is I don't waste my ammo when it's a difficult shot. I wait patiently for the right shot when he's on the ground. I wait for it. Money shot. There we go. And this one, patience pays off. So I just got nailed, and it's easy to panic because, like, oh man, this guy only needs one more shot to kill me, which is true. But you've got to stay calm and remember the basic principles. Don't waste your ammo and don't shoot shots that are not good shots. So here I'm just waiting for it. I have a clean shot. Not yet. Wait for it. Boom. Got him.